Do you need to compare PDF documents to see what similarities and differences they may have? Well, you are in the right place. In this video, we're going to learn how to see changes when a file has been updated. Let's suppose you need to compare a draft contract with a final one to see if the right changes have been made. This would be really useful. Well, let's do it. Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to the PDF Element YouTube channel where you can master PDF skills and document productivity solutions. Now comparing PDFs using PDF Element is actually pretty simple and easy to do and it only takes three steps. Firstly, we're going to need to press the compare PDF button and then we're going to need to select the two documents that we want to compare. And then we just press the compare button to see our results. Easy, right? However, today's video is going to show you how to master this PDF comparison tool for PDF Element on Mac. And if you're a Windows user, you can also find a step-by-step -step tutorial on our channel. Okay, well, let's dig in on how to use this compare feature. Firstly, what can PDF Element do? Well, we can keep track of any additions or retractions or other changes made to a PDF document. We can also highlight or hide these differences. We can sync scrolling both documents at the same time to make it a lot easier to compare. PDF Element will also count every single difference and make it easy to navigate between each one at the press of a button. And lastly, it also allows us to make our own changes to either document. So, how do we do that? Method one, use the compare PDF feature in PDF Element for Mac. So before getting started, we need to make sure PDF Element for Mac is above version 8.5.8. .8. Once we've launched the software, we can click that compare PDF icon in the menu above the list of recent files. And in that pop-up dialog box, drag and drop the two files to be compared, or you can use the select file buttons on either side. Now as a little bonus tip, if you want to check out the history of files that you've compared before, you can click this little button here. And by clicking this button with the two arrows here, you can exchange the positions of the two files. We can then click the compare button and wait for a few seconds for the process to be completed. We are then greeted with a new document comparison tab that will show the two documents visible next to one another. On the left hand sidebar you can see thumbnails of all the different pages that we can access. And on the right hand sidebar you can see the results list. This is every instance on the document where either the text or image has been deleted, inserted or modified. Now when you click any of the modifications on this result list, the area that's been changed on the document will be highlighted to help you find out that modified position easily. If you right click on any of the results, you can choose to hide the results and that text will no longer be highlighted. If you right click again, you can restore the highlights on that text. You can also use the filter option near the top of the right sidebar to see or hide specific types of differences for text and images. Now above the documents, you can see labels for the types of differences. To the right of that, there are two checkboxes. The first can be used to highlight or hide the results of a comparison. And the second can lock or unlock simultaneous scrolling. Now if you want all of the results to be highlighted, you select the Highlight Results button. However, when there are many colour blocks, the page will be very messy. After unchecking that box, no results will be highlighted. Now if you click on one of the results on the right, the corresponding modification will be highlighted. When Scroll Sync is selected, the left and right side will scroll in sync. There may be a situation where the first page on the left corresponds to the second page on the right. At this time, you can cancel and then manually adjust the corresponding position. Above the pages are two buttons for text and image. You can select either of these to make changes to the each document. Now, if you have made any changes during the comparison, you may wish to save them. There are two ways to save. You can either make a single selection or a multiple selection. To do this, go to File and Save As and just select which documents you want to save. Now you can compare the files again without having to close the software. You just need to right click on the side and select recompare to refresh the comparison results of the current page. So using this method makes it very easy to spot differences between two similar documents for legal purposes, to identify any changes that might have been made to any copyright content, and to ensure that all changes requested in a document have been made, especially useful when annotations are included. 
and it also allows everyone to be on the same page when dealing with multiple iterations of the same file, and it's good for checking if images have been used in their original resolutions. Now there are two mistakes which can be made that can cause this process to fail. First of all, don't use the same file to compare at the same time. And secondly, don't compare files that are already open. Make sure you close those files and then select it again. Method two, opening PDF files in different windows. Now to compare multiple PDF files on the Mac in different windows, you'll need to open them all on PDF Element for Mac as well. To open PDF files, you can either click the open file button on the bottom middle corner or click file open and locate the file on your Mac. Using the same method, you can open both the PDF files that you need to compare. Now in order to see both of these files at the same time without having to switch between the tabs, you need to drag one of those tabs downwards and the file will pop out in a separate window. You can then drag that window wherever you want and change the shape of it horizontally vertically as required. So that is how you compare PDF files on Mac. It really is very easy and simple to do. And if you want to learn how to compare PDFs on Windows, then go watch our video about that on the channel. Please give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future tutorials. And also feel free to leave me a comment if there's a particular topic you want us to cover. Thank you for watching.